The procurement landscape is evolving at breakneck speed right now with artificial intelligence leading the charge. My latest review of over 50 different sources reveals some striking statistics. And we're seeing some incredible numbers. AI handles procurement tasks up to 80% faster than traditional methods, which is mind blowing. And actually I've been hands-on with AI agents throughout all of 2025. And we're seeing stats that push that at Gatekeeper of 98% improvement times. And we've even had some edge cases that go beyond that. We of course have stats that below that, but that 80% figure feels very good to me. Now, the executive interest is interesting here because 92% of chief procurement officers have evaluated generative AI for operations, which is great to hear. And there are investment trends that we want to look at here because right now 11% of organizations currently allocate over 1 million pounds kind of 1.3 million dollars I think it doing some rough math in my head to AI driven procurement tools which will double to 22% in 2025 or by the end of this year and then if we think about data priorities 38% of procurement executive prioritize enhanced data analytics and spending visibility and the internet of things adoption piece is quite interesting for me especially for like the wider supply chain manufacturing areas 28 percent of organizations are investing in iot technologies for real-time tracking we know this is getting bigger and bigger across our incredibly complex supply chains and on the side of sustainability or more specifically around esg 99 percent of organizations now have explicit esg goals guiding procurement and I, I did a bit of a deep dive into that one. It looks fairly solid, the numbers. I was kind of expecting it to be way lower. So I'm going to take that with a slight pinch of salt, but we're just going to leave it in there for now. As a guiding principle, it does seem to be gaining more and more relevance. From what I'm seeing, the political nature in the US doesn't really seem to have had a huge impact on it. And then leadership models, 60% report implementing collaborative leadership models where CPOs partner with their CEOs, their CTOs, to make all of this AI stuff become a reality, right? Now, the data highlights fundamental shift in procurement's mission. No longer merely a cost-cutting function, today's procurement teams are becoming strategic value creators. And I have five key trends that support this transformation. So to start with, AI as the new procurement engine. We're now moving away from old procurement methods to AI systems that can do things like manage contracts through conversation and automatically approve various different tasks. I'm working on incredible things like this myself at Gatekeeper where we can review and approve vendor onboarding, due diligence checks, contract reviews. It is incredible to see. Next, we have data-driven decision making. The largest percentage of procurement executives identified enhanced data analytics and spend invisibility as their top initiative. Organizations are leveraging predictive capabilities, not just to understand past spending, this is important, but to anticipate demand trends and optimize inventory management, which is really important for like the TikTok effect. And I've discussed that previously on my videos and over on Substack. And that just creates the perfect moment to talk about this. If you haven't already subscribed to the AI procurement blueprint over on Substack, please go and do that now. I do a lot of deep dives, a lot of knowledge is shared there that never makes it over to YouTube and vice versa, right? They're both really good platforms for me. I get to nerd out about procurement, supply chains, contracts, all that stuff that for some reason I really enjoy talking about. And for Substack, I really get to share a lot of the research I'm doing using AI and other stuff like that to get some incredible views, inputs, and outlooks that others just simply can't do right now. So check it out. There's a link in the description below. And I've also given you a discount code so you get 40% off your subscription if you sign up using that on a yearly membership. See you soon. So let's get back to the video. And then point three that we're talking about, building resilience through technology. This is important because in response to recent supply chain disruptions, war, things like that that are happening sadly in the world, cutting edge technologies like digital twins are enabling sophisticated scenario planning. Solutions addressing geopolitical tensions and China plus one diversification strategies are becoming essential components of the procurement tech stack at last. Now let's move on to sustainability as a non-negotiable. And the 99% of organizations now have explicit ESG goals guiding procurement activities. 
more than a quarter of procurement leaders identified sustainability oriented technologies as a key priority, recognizing that environmental responsibilities and cost efficiency can be complementary rather than competing objects. This one surprised me, especially with the combined forces of Trump and must have mentioned the value of ESG, DEI and other things like that. I'm sure I'll get some hate in the comments as I did on this short that you should definitely go and check out. The comments are wild on that video. Now, collaborative leadership models. The days of silo procurement decisions are absolutely over and they have to be. And if you can't put an end to it, we've got some issues. A significant 60% of organizations report implementing collaborative leadership models where CPOs partner with CIOs and CTOs reflecting the increasing technical nature of procurement solutions. And that's everything for this week's deep dive brief. Please make sure you like the video, subscribe, and let me know one takeaway that you got from this video. And I will hopefully see you next week for the next one. See you soon. Goodbye.